hello everyone in today's video i will discuss about the risk society of woolrich pack and this is the continuation of previous video on this topic woolrich pack a contemporary sociologist is very very relevant in today's time particularly to understand the modernity post modernity advanced industrial society or the contemporary man made disasters or the human induced natural disasters we can relate the risk society thesis of woolrich pack to understand all such all such social systems all such social uh, societal uh, processes and the various epochs that are assumed by the scholars in uh, the in the contemporary time certain scholars consider that the world is now in a stage of post modernity or in advanced capitalist or industrial stage whereas some countries some societies are yet to be modern for example india like other developing countries india is not yet modern or it is in a process of becoming modern it is in a process of becoming advanced industrialized society though it started its industrialization process long before so that means i'm just uh, mentioning the context or background of his theory or analysis so we can understand that the whole whole world the entire world is now in a competition of acquiring more and more power more and more control over the science over technology more and more control over the natural resources over the world over the land over the water bodies over the spaces and all so every country is in a competition every country is in a competition to becoming a powerful nation powerful in term of economy powerful in term of production powerful in term of technological uh, ownership powerful in term of technological control powerful in term of uh, owning the uh, disasters the weapons of defense force and many more so in this society in this society risk is very much probable that thing was mainly pointed out by ulrich beck ulrich beck very nicely analyzed how the present the post capitalist society or post modern society uh, or modern society in different parts of the world is in a state of risk his risk society analysis is basically understanding the risk and the catastrophe he differentiated between the risk and the catastrophe he has not defined risk as catastrophe rather risk is different from catastrophe and he also criticized certain superficial scientific calculations of risk so here i will discuss these things now how he differentiated risk from the catastrophe according to him the risk can be anticipated that is risk is something which can be anticipated and catastrophe which already occurred that is which already takes into a real form so suppose any industrial accident once industrial accident occurs is called catastrophe and the occurrence anticipation of its occurrence is risk 
that is if anyone who can anticipate the risk anticipate the catastrophe before it can be considered as risk now now the world is going in a direction world is going in a going in a direction of progress development where human beings wants to control the nature wants to control the human beings wants to control the economy production everything there are unanticipated situations there are unanticipated situations which are not being considered by the industrial systems by state by bureaucracy through the risk through the concept of risk it can be anticipated if it is going in a direction if the exploitation of nature exploitation of environment exploitation of the exploitation of the over control of the nature is happening then there would be there would be the severe consequences there will be disastrous consequences that means the catastrophe now back basically wanted to say that the advanced industrial countries or advanced industrial societies or postmodern societies are ignorant about the risk they don't they don't want to listen the risk because according to them they they undertakes certain risk assessment uh, risk assessment survey and accordingly starts the project accordingly starts the operation operation of various activities industrial activities so they believes that the risk even if it happens it can be controlled damage even if it happens it can be recovered so for these industrial advanced industrial societies or post industrial societies the risk is something which is which can be calculated which can be empirically calculated on the other hand back argues that this is not possible this cannot be done because the consequences which is completely unknown consequences is completely unknown to the people unknown to the scientific community unknown to the state unknown to the uh, industrial bodies industrial houses so just mere based on the past experience and scientific calculations the risk management theory or risk risk management the assessment survey report is not enough it is not at all logical so risk is being not accepted by these post modern society or post industrial societies and if he says if this global risk is being known then the whole world will be in the risk society that is how he said that the entire world is in the state of risk society for him the risk is a, st is a virtual state it always exists it always prevails if human intervention is there and in post industrial society human intervention is extensive massive so we'll reach back described risk society as inescapable structural condition of industrialization or advanced industrialization this situation the inescapable this industrialization or advanced industrialization cannot escape from this risk cannot escape from this uh, risk society even if they are not accept, even if they are not acknowledging it they cannot escape it Beck further criticizes <coughs> the mathematical calculations, mathematical calculations by the expert, scientific expert, expert or project or policy oriented, the mathematical calculation or profiling of risk 
before clearance before giving clearance to any project industrial project he criticized this he said that it cannot be calculated he believes that the risk cannot be reduced into a probable occurrence there is something which will be occurred that probable occurrence is just reduced how based on the means the calculations with the intensity and the degree of the harm it may produce how much harm climate change may produce in a developed country in a developing country in other developed country how much climate will affect the glaciers with the natural ecosystems how would the scientific community can calculate based on the past experience because every year every day every months the situation is getting changed it is not something which is static it is fluctuating and it is very very unanticipated according to ulrich beck the world is in a state of new risk and his global risk society is characterized by three features these three features are delocalization in calculableness and non compensatability so these are the three features of the risk society first point the delocalization delocalization means the risk is not now local risk is risk is not a local phenomena there is something which is occurring in one place and will confined in one place no it has no virtue it has no physical boundary risks don't consider don't see any boundary any country any nation any political boundary so it is delocalized for example the climate change the one country may be contributing more in the climate change another country is contributing less in the climate change but effects and consequences are being experienced by all the countries almost equally so, and that is again increasing day by day so there is no way to confine one's own contribution of climate change within the boundary no this cannot be done so this risk risk society is delocalized second feature is incalculableness that means risk cannot be calculated that i already mentioned risk cannot be calculated anticipation there is anticipation of the catastrophe anticipation of the catastrophe can be done that is catastrophe can be anticipated before but risk cannot be calculated what industrial society believes that they would go to they would go for activity of industrial activity of any kind of activity with proper calculations it cannot be done this cannot be calculated it can be anticipated once it is uncontrolled once it is beyond the control once it is over exploitative there may be the catastrophe and that is happening everywhere in the world numbers of industrial accidents whether these companies these industries have not planned have not calculated the risk factor but why such why such accident happens but this kind of catastrophic situation anticipated before and third feature is the non compensatability non compensati uh, compensatability so it means that it cannot be compensated the damage cannot be compensated usually industrial society advanced industrial society or postmodern society believes that 
the catastrophe or accident may occurs but it can be it can be uh, compensated it can be managed it can be recovered with due compensation but according to according to old Richback, it cannot be compensated there is no way or no way to compensate the damage that man-made disasters catastrophes makes in the space in the global climate in the water in the nature in the ecology ecosystems and all so this is how Ulrich Beck described the new risk society of the global world in the era of postmodernity or advanced industrialization so in the next video i will continue the discussion thank you very much for watching